And he said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Mark 16, 15-18 Mission News Network presents Go Year on Garden City Radio 89.9 FM Port Harcourt with Captain Success featuring Mission News, Mission Talks, Mission Events and Activities. Go Ye on Garden City Radio, the Groove and Style Station, every Wednesday from 3.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Go Ye with Captain Success on a mission. Listen and be on the go. Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Go Ye on Radio, a news and current affairs program uh, designed to encourage, educate and motivate Christians to prayers participation and support for missionary work to help further the great commission go you on radio is a listener support program and uh, is brought to you by mission news network a mission news service dedicated to keeping christians informed on evangelical activities around the world to be a guest on the program and have opportunity to talk about your ministry mission events outreach and church programs you can call us on the following numbers 0806 1649063 or 0705920629 email you can send us a mail at goye network at gmail.com twitter we are on at goye on radio facebook is www facebook.com for slash mission news network my name is captain success and on Mission Talk today, we are looking at the killings and maiming of Christians, destruction of properties and burning of houses and churches in southern Kaduna and other parts of the north. The latest and one of the deadliest happened on uh, 24th of December in Goska village in Jamal local government area of Kaduna state. Ironically, on a day that uh, the people ought to be joyously celebrating the Christmas festivities uh, was uh, the day they were reduced to burying their loved ones and uh, the wounded were being treated in the hospitals as, as well as coping with a, a fresh batch of uh, internally displaced people of Goscat village whose houses were burnt down completely. That is a very terrible one. and. Uh, indeed is a very sad one uh in a time such as this uh there have been claims and count counter claims from the governor of the state malan nasru erify and um, also the presidency uh yesterday released their statement on why they are silent over the issue all right uh we heard that uh, there is a, a current uh, attack uh in the past uh, 24 hours uh precisely on goska village in jamal local government area of kaduna state and uh, we've also woke up to the news from the federal government uh, this morning uh the news from the presidency a statement rather saying that um uh, giving our reasons why they are silent over the uh, issue and one of the reasons is the fact that um, the governor said he's uh, on top of the issue but then we're having this conflicting report here and there of uh curfew restriction of movement and yet there is the still massive attack going on in some of those villages all right joining us right now from abuja is uh reverend dr musa asake hello good afternoon dr musa asake Good afternoon. How are you, sir? Very fine. God bless you, sir. Very well. Uh, we're hearing a lot of conflicting reports from Southern Kaduna over the happenings over there. Please, can you confirm exactly the situation in Southern Kaduna as we speak? Uh, thank you very much for asking. Uh, Southern Kaduna is in turmoil. A lot of killings going on before the Christmas. 
And but very unfortunately, the security people are not helping the matter. Uh, I was I'm from that area to to be exact. On Christmas Day, we were having our service. There was an interruption because <clears throat> the housemen attacked a nearby village named Goska that you have just mentioned. Okay. So a lot of killing is still going on, and there has been a curfew introduced by the state government. But let me make it very clear to our hearers. That curfew, if you go to Kafanchan, the soldiers, the police, they are only in the areas that are occupied by Muslims. The areas that the Christians are, are not protected at all. So I want the whole world to know and our listeners that the governor is very biased in his leadership. Uh, that, that that's a very uh, heartbreaking one, sir. So uh, how did we get here in the first place? How did this all started? Well, we get here because the government is interested in one section and not in another section. These Fulani men are destroying people's farms, killing people. None of them have been arrested. But the indigents that are being killed, their farms taken over by the Fulanese, are being arrested and detained by the government. We were shocked recently when the governor of Kaduna State made mention that he is paying some of these Fulanese so that they cannot continue the killing. The implication is the governor knows them, but he cannot arrest them, only paying them, which is a very sad situation. The Christians are left with nobody to help them. And from what you have said, I read with a great disappointment what the spokesperson for the president said, that the president cannot do anything because the governor has braved him. That is so disappointing. They are killing people. People are refugees in their homes and the presidency is keeping quiet. If they send soldiers, the soldiers are backing the Muslims. What a sad situation. Oh, this is heartbreaking, uh, uh, Dr. Asaki, to hear that uh, the role of government in, in, in all of this. Uh, uh, is, uh, in, in light of uh, seemingly government inability to protect the lives and properties of Christians uh, in these areas, uh, what should the church do? I mean, the body of Christ, both in the north and down south, what should we be doing in a time like this? In times like this, number one thing is to pray for God to intervene. As we are now, we are left with nobody but our God. We are crying to God, and our tears will never go in vain. For the Christians in the South, buckle up, fasten your seat belts, because they will come. Don't just stay there and fold your arms and say that it's in the North. Is in southern Kaduna. They have a plan to take over this country. That's why they want to wipe out all the Christians in southern Kaduna. So I ask the Christians in the south, 